Good afternoon, ladies. Okay, um, yesterday I was made to understand something happened here. Originally, you guys were supposed to, you girls were supposed to have your phones with you, but your house chief, your coordinator, and your camp director pleaded with me to allow you to have your phones for at least 30 minutes or one hour every weekend which i obliged and i decided that okay you can have your phones every weekend for at least 30 minutes why did i ask you all to drop your phones is because i don't want you to get distracted and i also don't want any situation whereby anyone will play any foul game here because i wanted the competition to be fair we are not um, we are not politicians so i wanted it to be fair and what happened you guys are giving your phones yesterday and you did not return the complete phone and i told you specifically last night that that phone must be returned by 7 a.m this morning up till now i haven't heard from you girls so i decided to come here first of all let me hear from your house captain because she was the one that was handed the phones to distribute to you girls. So I want to hear from her details. Let her give me a detailed explanation of what happened last night, why she was with that phone. It's okay, you can sit down. Okay, last night after the eviction show, they gave us our phones. We were given 30 minutes to make use of the phones. But well, after the 13 minutes, most of us were not able to make calls because the network was bad. And again, for those of us that our phones were off, we had to plug our phones and be looking for the network at the same time. So our house chief gave us more 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, I took the phones to coordinator. While I was there, Stephanie brought her last phone, small one, to me. But with that, I had to plead with the coordinator again to give us one hour again because the network was still very bad. Calls were not going through. And because of low batteries, some of us were not able to make calls. So I pleaded with him, gave us one hour again. The girls, they all followed me down there. They were just at my back and the place was a little bit dark. So when I was coming back, everybody came to me rushing. Everybody collected their phone from me. So I was left with just Faith's phone and uh, Doris' phone. So when I got to this road, Faith came to me, she collected her phone from me. So I was left with my phone and Doris' phone. I came to the parlor, I gave Doris a phone while she was sitting down there. And I went to my room, plugged my phone, because my whole phone was down, the battery was down. So I sat down there with my phone. It was when the time was up that I said, bring your phone, let me put on the phone. That was when Stephanie said a phone, a small phone was not there. And me, I didn't notice that phone was not there because everybody was rushing. When they came collecting their phones, they were all, they were all rushing to take their phones from me. So that was what happened yesterday. Okay, Stephanie, please can you tell us what happened? Okay. This was around what time? Around, around 9 o'clock. 9 p.m.? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. So, Stephanie. Okay, so when... Um, our house chief brought the phones. First of all, it was difficult finding my small phone in her bag, but eventually she brought it out. She gave me the Android phone first before giving me the small phone. So I tried connecting the small phone because that's why I have a time inside. It did not work. I don't know, it's like because the battery died completely, I cannot boost it up again with normal charger. So I removed the SIM from my small phone and immediately put it into my Hold on, hold on. Your battery died completely. Yes. And you cannot boost it with normal charger. It, it wasn't coming up. Please, what do you mean by you cannot boost it? What, do we have abnormal chargers? I mean desktop, normal charger and desktop charger. Maybe it needs a desktop charger. Sweetheart, do we have abnormal chargers? No. We don't have abnormal chargers. All right, continue. Okay, so I, I tried charging it and it did not come on. So I abandoned that one on the ground there. And then I took the SIM card because my Android phone uses two SIM and there's only one SIM inside. So I put the SIM in my Android phone and I was able to charge that one because the battery was low too. So when she was talking about bringing the phones already, I took the two phones in my hands 
I ran out. So when we were rushing to give her, I gave her the big one, but the small phone was still in my hand. So when she moved like five steps forward, she was already in front. I ran up to her. I tested, see this one? I forgot it was still in my hand. Then I handed it over to her. So immediately she told us that we can have our phones back. I just collected the Android phone. I did not even know that the small phone was with her. At that moment, I wasn't even thinking about the small phone because it wasn't charged. You are contradicting yourself. Do you know that? Will anybody agree with me here? First of all, you ran out to give her the phone. Yes. After removing the SIM from the phone, yes. you ran out to give her the phone, right? And then when she said everybody can have their phones back for another one hour, like she said you went back again to collect the android phone for her but you did not know that this other small phone was actually with her sweet that you are contradicting yourself like i did not think about the small phone i did not even bother about the small phone okay i'm because listening with her, yes but that was not my main focus my main focus was getting the phone that is charged and contacting who i wanted to contact so i did not bother about the small phone at all i just I did not even remember the small phone at all. It was when they started asking, bring the phones, when we were going out that the, the small phone is with you, right? She now said, no, that's when we started looking for it. And there was no SIM card because I had already, had earlier on, I removed the SIM card and put it in the Android phone. So, what you're trying to say right now is um, around, at about 9 p.m., a phone went missing in this farm comp uh, this 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 camp this compound this farmhouse where people are not living your phone got missing and up to now the phone is being as in the phone is not found right so what efforts have you guys put, put together to make sure you find that phone since last night uh we felt that it fell from our hand when everybody because it's a very small phone so that's what we thought or that's what we think that it fell from our hand that's why yesterday night that same time we were trying to look for it with such is it a phone like this yes it's just like you see this phone if i drop this phone outside for the next three days nobody will touch it do you know that do you know why people don't value this phone ladies am i am i speaking your mind you are all quiet. If you throw this phone on the ground now, how many people will rush it and pick it in this kind of environment at night? Let's be factual. I want to know. I ask a question. And I need sincere answers from all of you. Because if this phone is not found, everybody will suffer the punishment. Ma, in, in, a, in a good environment, nobody will pick it up. But this environment, yes, like yesterday we had so many teenagers playing in this particular place. People were moving around. At so night, we were they yeah. walking about with touch light? Those people, some yes. of them were, were with their phones. No, we were they walking about with touch light? I ask a question. No, ma'am. They weren't walking about with touch light. That was why I asked you what time. You said 9 p.m., right? Yes, ma'am. Yesterday was um, um, Easter. Am I right? Easter Sunday. So a lot of people came around yesterday, were there. But this was late in the night, 9 p.m. So you cannot tell me, teenagers, little kids, that actually came with their parents to this camp. We are playing around around 9 p.m. Hold on, last night. As at when I drove you girls to go and sleep last night, I only saw adults. I did not see children. As at when I came out last night, and you were talking about this phone, I only saw adults. There were no kids around. And even if there were kids around, I never saw any child with touch lights. Am I right? Am I right? Um, you came out with your torchlight to look for this phone last night. True or false? True. So if the phone was actually picked up by someone, like you claimed, who would see it? it you are not talking about big Android phone here. You're talking about small Nokia phone without SIM card mm -hmm. in it, which means the phone can never come on. Am I right? The phone would definitely permanently be like this. There's no way anybody will even step on it and it will come up like this. Because there's no SIM in it, am I right? You, you switched it up because you couldn't charge it, am I right? It didn't, come on it didn't come on at all. So you were looking for that phone and you did not find it. Anyway, we are not here to talk long story. We're still going to look for the phone. We don't want to believe that 
the phone was um, stolen or maybe someone hid it or something no like I told you before I love you girls I will treat you equally but whenever anybody has to be punished or whenever there's going to be uh, um, any decision to make or take that has to do with things like this it will be done without me looking back that's why we came here that's why your coordinator is here so that he will know your house chief is here and of course your camp director is here so that you all will understand the enormity of what you've just done I wasn't of the opinion of letting you have your phones but since you girls have actually proved that you cannot keep a single promise with me then I guess I will have to make sure that the punishment that is fit for this will be met for everybody, not just one person. Aleto, I give you two days. Two days to look for the phone. What is today? Today is Monday, right? Tomorrow is Tuesday. So I give you two days to look for that phone. I gave you to 7 a.m. in the morning. You girls didn't come back to me. I did not hear anything from you. Why? Because you actually took me for granted. Mm -hmm. You took my authority for granted and you ignored me, including your house captain. You ignored me. I give you two days to get that phone out. I don't know how you girls are going to do that, but look for the phone and bring it back. If by the end of that two days that phone is not found, you will be evicted from this house. You automatically go home. And you, being the house captain, you've been taking me for granted because I told you 7 a.m. this morning, I want to see that phone. Even when the phone was not found, you should have come to me and told me, ah, please, we couldn't find the phone, right? But you never did that because you were taking my leniency for granted. Every week, you will lose 50 points. Have you heard me, Tessie? Every week, you will lose 50 points. And for all of you here that are actually keeping quiet and watch this whole thing go on, every week, whether you score a single point or not, you will lose 10 points. Do you understand? I will listen to you. Yes, dear, go ahead. I felt it was... Sit down, it's okay. I felt it was a rush while down for God missing. Just this morning we came up with a week. Our light, we used to carry light outside and keep it beside. So as we finished, we were looking for the light. Our coordinator said, okay, we shouldn't worry. And he would find out. But later you got back the light. I was asking him, how did you get back the light? The light. Who would you want? Please, Get up, don't do that. Please sit down. I'm listening. Please, that phone to me is missing. I know somebody has picked that phone. These days, people pick phone, just no care touch, and go about sell 1,000 naira. It happened in my own area. Please, okay. Um, Akao. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I always murder your name, but that's how I can pronounce it. Um, this was around 9 p.m. in the night. Yeah. This is not a regular environment where you have a lot of people, okay? Now, if, even if you tell me kids were walking about and they were going about, I don't know if you get it. The phone was not turned on. I don't know if you get it. And that path where the phone got missing is too narrow. For that particular time because you guys started looking for the phone almost immediately am i right no no one hour yeah. house chief after house chief house chief um camp coordinator Not please hour. let me hear from you Not because they said it's one hour please let's hear from you I don't know if I'm half. Sir, please, it was the second time we were about returning the phone. Yes, I don't know if I'm half. You need to hear those answers. Yes, go ahead, sweetheart. Okay. Sorry, it's a thing. My work and what I can actually say about this phone, because I was inside throughout. 
from the first time our house team gave us the food, I was inside. So I was, after the first 30 minutes, I was inside when um, Alaba came to me. I said that they have added extra 30 minutes. Then I, st I was still inside. Okay, when I saw EKC coming um, from that, uh, down to this place, mm -hmm. I met her and collected my phone. So after using the phone, she was like, you should return it. I gave it to her. I still came inside again. I was still inside when Alaba came again and told me that they have added extra one hour to us. Okay. So then I was like, okay, we are others, we are the phones. I saw it is standing there. Then I was the person that met her and collected my own phone. And when I collected my phone, it was only my phone and one other phone which she said is um, Doris. How many of your phones? So what I'm actually trying to say that I was inside throughout. Did we come in with that phone? Because the only time I can remember when they started looking for the phone was when he test he said everybody bring your phone after the one hour interval. Do you know right this. now I'm going to deduct I'm going to be deducting twenty marks from your point every every week. Are you aware of that? No. You are not aware that I'm about to do that. No. Hmm? No. Okay. Now so, this is it. No, you don't have to be sorry. It's okay. No, it's not sorry. I am yet to make up my mind. Hold on. I'm not. I've not made up my mind about the twenty points. So hold on. Okay. You were inside all through. Yes, I was inside. You did not know what was going on. And you said the phones. Were and you were not sure that the phone that they brought all the phones. You no, know, what I'm trying to say, ma'am. But you were inside all through. Get my point. What I'm trying to say, I was here charging my phone. So when I went out to collect my own phone, that is what I'm trying to say, to collect my own phone. I only met my phone and Doris own with her. I think mean, uh, you don't uh, hold on, you don't you don't you get you are contradicting and you are still repeating all what they have said. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on, Faith. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Okay? Now, Itesi had already said it, that the only two phones that she had with her was your phone and Miss Doris' phone. Am I right? Phones. You had two phones. Yes. You had two phones. And she said it was just... Am I right? Was that not what you said? Yes. So, what, what are you saying? She is trying to tell you that you shouldn't punish her. No, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. No, you see, now what I'm trying to say. Deborah, do you have anything to say? You have tried to say anything. Hmm? It's they okay, came, you can talk. They came from Essie. outside looking for Why are you permanently silent? This is my point. They came from that, Okay, she let's she hear you. Let's hear you. They came from outside. Actually are you okay? The phone. When? Are you sure? Actually you see me after this session, okay? When? When did they come from outside it looking for the phone? The last, Esther, uh, what is it? You don't have to be fair. You have to speak out. I could see the anger boiling inside of you. Why are you not talking? After the last yes. one hour. Yes, so you were still indoors. They brought the phone to you. I was the person that went and collected my phone from the PC. Then I came back inside here. Okay. I made my own. And everyone else was outside. You were the only one inside. Yes, apart from Esther. Esther was inside as well. Mm -hmm. So it was when we were about to, so because she herself went outside as well to look for network. And when was that? What time was that? I, I wouldn't lie, I didn't check them, but I know that it was a little late hour. But was about 10 p.m. I didn't check that. So what I'm actually trying to say that they came from outside looking for that phone. So that is my point. That they that came from phone, outside looking for the phone. Yeah, that, that phone got missing from outside. That is just what I'm trying to explain. After they had gone to return. The one hour, after the, the last one hour time given to us. Okay. Please, explain. director, you are free to do. Um, number one thing is <sighs> indiscipline. You are all full of indiscipline. I cannot imagine that you have a phone, you gave the phone to her 10 minutes later, or less than 10 minutes. 
you're asked to come and pick the phone. You picked one phone and left. I left the other. What was your intention of picking one phone and leaving one? I'm not asking you to say something. Because there is, there has to be a reason. I'm telling you that as I'm sitting here, you all know how that phone, what, what, how, how, how that phone went about. You know what happened to the phone. You cannot say before us that you don't know, you don't know what happened to that phone. And if there is a link between you and the house, house uh, captain, it means that both of you, you know what, what went on, went wrong. And if your, your roommates are trying to defend you, it means that they also have knowledge of, of what, what happened plans to the phone. that you will have for that phone. It will be so impossible for you to pick a phone. You have a phone given to you, and then you pick one, and then you don't know that there's one. Just is within a few meters. And at it night. It is absolutely impossible for that to happen. You weren't dead. You're not working like a corpse that you don't know that you have the phone. You and one phone. dropped. Now, when you were, you were given that phone, where did you, were you holding them in your hands or yes, you put them? Just like this. Good. Then people were picking phones. Were they fighting and picking the phones? They were scrambling, yes, picking the scrambling, phone. Picking their phones. Good. So you you stood in one spot and this was happening, isn't it? Yes, sir. Were you walking while this was happening? You stood in one spot, they all picked their phone, and then you don't know what was left in your hand. Or neither did you know if any phone fell and you walked off. Carelessness and it is, you have to be disciplined. I think that you deserve 50% subtraction every week or more. And you, your punishment will be the highest punishment. You cannot all come here and begin to be careless about yourself. Everything. About everything, about the work you came here for. It's just a simple thing, very simple. I don't believe that that phone is missing. I believe that you people have plans for that phone. I don't know what your curator will think, but my personal belief is that you people have hidden that phone to use it for whatever reason you choose. And you cannot that cannot excel in this in this place. It cannot excel. Whatever plans that you people have for that phone will not work here. If you have plan, that plan will probably work when you have been evicted from this place. And by the way, guide you, she's leaving, you are leaving as well. Because you cannot bring in discipline in this place. The reason why you're here is to learn something different from what you learn at home or wherever you, you've ever been. This is a place where nobody knows you. Buhari says, I'm for you and for, I'm and also for, for not, everybody for, for nobody. For, that's how it is here. She tells you all the time, I love you. Beautiful. So she tells her, I love you. Does it mean that you should rub it on her face? Yes, or take her for granted? Yes, what kind of indiscipline is that? You don't have explanation. The only explanation all of you have is two days. Two days time, the phone has to be produced. Somebody will suffer the consequences and we don't care whoever it is. Take note of that. We don't care whoever it is. Ladies, women are not supposed to live the way you girls have been living here for the past two weeks. I have been keeping quiet and sometimes I wonder why you do the things you do. Why do, we, why do they call women generation generators? The reason why Nigeria is the way it is today is because somebody somewhere has refused to train his or her child properly. And so the child grew up into something else. And of course, 80% of that blame rests on the shoulders of the mothers. Because whose gene does a child come to the world with? First of all, 60% of your gene is from your mother. True or false? Am I, make, am I communicating with somebody? And then at the end of the day, if you cannot live responsibly, tell me, how will you be able to train up kids that will definitely live responsibly? 
I mean, I trusted you. I expect you to keep that trust. Your phones were given to you to call home, talk to your family members. Oh, I'm fine. Everything is okay here. Peculiar had to speak with the father, know that, okay, this, has, this was her father's condition. Why? Because she had access to her phone. But now that you all have done this, I don't know what is going to happen next. Because if I leave here, I don't know the decision I'm going to take. You're actually here for a purpose. Don't forget that. You can say, oh, I'm a grown adult. Why should I be subjected to this for how long? If you cannot instill discipline in yourself within this environment for this short time. So how do you expect me to allow you go out there at the end of this program? What have you learned? What will you tell the entire world that you have learned? Tell me, what will you tell the world that you've learned? Oh, it's, not, it's just like every other programs I come to. Let's just do it and go. I tell women initiative, it doesn't really work like that. For people that knows me very well, go back and ask questions. They will tell you the kind of person I am. There are a lot of things I don't play with. And that starts with indiscipline, distrust, lies. When you are being un insincere, I don't like it one bit. And we're not going to allow it to continue. None of you will say, I have treated you in a bad way here. True or false? <laughs> None of you will say, I have not shown you equal love the way I'm supposed to show you equal love. I'm not happy that you girls actually did this. The story that you've just told now, they, are, they don't have base. I don't know how you manage to think that you can actually put this whole thing together. Even in a law court, you can't win a case with this kind of story. It doesn't make sense. So like the camp director has said, and I have told you earlier on, it is two days. If by the end of that two days, that phone is not found, somebody is going home and the others are going to be punished severely. Of course, you know me now. I don't go back on my words. I will not go back on my words on this one. So start looking for your phone. Please go ahead. First of all, I don't have mind at all. Like ordinary, I don't have mind. There's no way I would take that phone because maybe I would be making call with it. If only you knew how many SIM cards I have, maybe you would believe me when I say I have just two SIM cards. The reason why I did not bother about that phone, I was not thinking about it. I, it was one hour. She told me one hour. I was only focused on what was working and that's how the mind works i wasn't even that's not how the mind works okay that's how in, a, in an environment like this hmm, where your property should be very dead to you that's not how the mind works sweetheart it is called adaptability i don't know if you get it it is called discipline don't you get it it is called taking responsibility you've lost those three you have two phones. You took one and left the other, according to you. And you go and you, and you went back again to start looking for that same phone that you carelessly forgot about. Because you feel there was no SIM card in the phone. Sweetheart, that is carelessness. You should not call her sweetheart. You're calling her sweetheart. That is carelessness. So there is no amount of explanation you're going to give to me that will work. I'm sorry, Akao. It's not as if I didn't listen to your plea. I did. But if I take this relaxity, it's still going to continue. Mm -hmm. I told you guys, come 7 a.m. Your house captain was supposed to come and tell me, sorry, ma, we did not find the phone. But you guys took me for granted. And they were not here. So it's not as if I did not listen to your plea. But this is beyond what I can always accept. I still there because there was another incident that happened. There's a church people that came campaign. This morning, I thought that I was sweeping outside there. Sister Glory, Sister Glory, who found your phone? Who shouted, eh? With 2,500. Ah, where did you find it? I didn't hear them. I didn't hear any word again from them before I... They found Sister Glory's phone. Do you know where Sister Glory's phone went missing? 
Do you know um, the kind of phone that Sister Glory was having? Sweetheart, it's like you're not understanding the logic here. Mm -hmm. Sister Glory's phone was on. That's why they could find it with 2,500. That phone has no SIM card. The phone was off. We are talking about 9 p.m. on a narrow bush path. We are not talking about that main road that you are seeing there. Even if it's the main road, do we have street lights here? No. Lights. no. So even if somebody was even with a torch walking, it would be yes, it would take the grace of God for you to see such Unless a thing on the ground. That something is it's there. there. And it's intentional. Are you getting it? Voice. So the whole that's why I said, even if you take this case to a law court, baby, none of you will win it. I don't know if you get it. With the kind of explanation that you guys are giving, you will you won't win it. This one says she heard the phone like this. So as you're holding the phone, they are picking their phone. If a phone drops, won't you know? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, if I'm holding something like this, and even if it's even if there are grains of rice and one drops, I will know. Do you know why? You will feel that thing slipping off your hand. True or false? True. So why is the phone nowhere to be found? And why did anybody not come to me this morning? To make me understand that that phone was not found. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Your punishment is already that one. Even if you did not say sorry in the first place, I will still have punished you because of that. Because I told you 7 a.m. And I saw you guys this morning. Even if it was just a quick one on your way to the farm. Please, ma, we didn't see the phone. What do we do next? And let me remind you. You girls are all here for a competition. Not for any, um, um, what do they call it, association or group club camp meeting. This is a competition. It's a training program and it's also a competition. I don't understand the way you do together in God's family in groups. I think you have to start doing something about why you are here. It's like up till now, you spent two weeks in this camp and you still don't know the reason why you are here. That is my pain. I mean, if I had the kind of opportunity that you girls have right now, do you know what I would have done? Why don't you just take your time to help yourself? Nigeria is not a place right now where you go out there and you pick jobs on the streets. Even in other countries, it is difficult to find these jobs. And you are here. And you know that at the end of the day, you are going home with something tangible that will definitely help you start up. Why not put your head on the ground so that you'll be able to do this for yourself? Or you think, some of you think because you're still a student. I started my business while I was still in school. I never went broke one day on campus. My friends will tell you. In fact, it got to a point, they started calling me executive student. I wasn't living in a hostel. I paid my bills. I did business, did all sorts of business on campus, paying my bills. So what makes you feel you are different? Tell me. With the little money that you have here, if you go to a nearby community, acquire a piece of land, and then when you are, when you are doing your program in school, during the days that you know that you are free, you quickly go there and check what you have in the farm. Of course, you have one or two persons that are working with you. You are able to manage things. Do you know how much you will make at the end of the day when your farm produce are ready for harvest? I'm asking, even if you have decided that you don't want to, farm, you want, don't want to go into farming, you can actually do business. But you girls are taking this whole thing with laxity. No, you're not bothered about anything. You're just praying. You're just counting the days and waiting for the days to be over so you can fly home. Sweethearts, that's, those are not attributes of any women at all. I gave you assignment. Did you guys see all your assignments? Did you, did you open your side? Did you open? Did you see your score? I gave you an assignment. What you gave me was a disaster. I asked you the role of a woman in the society and the home. What you gave me was a complete disaster. All of you. The only person that even tried to know what she was doing a little bit was Alaba. And yet, you don't want to learn. You don't want to learn. You have two days to provide that phone. Please, I'm actually the one pleading with you. Two days to provide that phone. You can go back to whatever you are doing, but done with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.